What's up, YouTube? It's currently 9.02 in the morning. 9.02, 9.03 in the morning. And I'm tired as hell because I went to sleep at around 5 or 6 o'clock. Let's go get these candy canes. Probably wondering how we're going to get there. And the finest that we have at the time is Old Reliable Green Line. I didn't, I wasn't really sure if these shoes are gonna sit or not. Um, they changed them from a PE to just a regular candy cane. But we have 15 minutes until the store opens and I'm about to see what happens. So we're back at the house and I'm pissed. I'm I'm very pissed off. Um so when they they let two people in at a time at Foot Locker and everybody got their sizes but when it was time for me to get let in she asked me what size did i have okay so then i i've had friends that worked at that foot locker on midway and um on st paul and they got they all got fired i guess okay so she asked me Are, aren't you reggie's friend i was like yeah i was like why he don't, i thought I, I, I said why i thought he doesn't work there anymore Okay, so she was like, oh, okay. She said, what size do you wear? I'm like, I said, uh, nine and a half. I've been the Jordan 14 candy cane. It's not even 10 o'clock yet before the store opened. They're like, it's a good 9.55, at least 9.55. She was like, what size do you wear? I was like, nine and a half. Okay, so she went back there to check for my size and she came back and said, we don't have any sizes nine and a half and size 10 or size 10s. Now this is not the first time they've done this to me because the Mocha Jordan 3 that I have in my collection right now, they didn't have a nine and a half. But I went up in there today and they're still sitting up in there today. So I personally feel like they're on an attack for me because it's, it's come on, it's a Jordan 14. It's an OG colorway, but it's a Jordan 14. Not no Jordan 1, not a Jordan 11, not even a Jordan 4, it's a Jordan 14. Okay, so how are you Foot Locker, like one of the number one sources? How are you Foot Locker that gets almost every release? How are you Foot Locker and not getting a shipment of 9.5, not in a size 10 or a 10.5? That makes no sense because you're Foot Locker. Like, that's the most common size there is. Like, how are you... And for me personally, like, how is how are you having just like two pairs of ten and a halves, or or no, and no pairs of tens either? Like, this is not making any sense. So, I was like, I I, I looked on my phone, I looked on the sneakers app, and I, I noticed that they are still going on the sneakers app. So I was like, let me go try the DCLR to see if they get a shipment. So at this point, it's like a good nine fifty eight. Cause I was like, I was on a, I was, I was walking really fast cause I didn't want to leave like empty handed because I, I would rather prefer to have my shoes on release date than me ordering them. Okay. So I went to DTLR. He told me to wait till 10 o'clock. So he, I guess he went to the bathroom. He came and opened up the store. I asked him, did you guys get the candy cane 14? He was like, no, nah, we didn't get any Jordan releases today. I mean, I could understand that because DTLR, almost every DTLR, like three weeks ago, was just RU Villas. And I, I could understand that because they're under construction or they were under construction or whatnot. But Foot Locker, how are you not getting a nine and a half up in the Jordan 14? That makes zero sense. It's not even a PE. It, they changed it to a regular 2019 Jordan 14. That didn't, that makes no sense. I feel like they were like on a personal attack for me because they all they always do this to me personally because like how are you how don't they did this way in December with the Mocha Jordan 3 release? Like how don't you have a size nine and a half up in a Jordan 3? You're foot locker. That's like the one of the most common sizes. You can't sit here and tell me that you don't have those sizes. 
And so when my friends was working there, my friends Reggie and whatnot, they was telling me like what was really going down. Like they told me that nine and a half through like I think eleven, they get the most sizes in those because that's the most common sizes. But that didn't make any sense at all for me not to get my shoes today. Okay, so I went on the sneakers app. I'm thinking everything all dandy and sweet. It's still like sizes of love. Okay, so I went on the sneakers app, purchased nine and a half. And next thing you know, my phone froze up and it just cleared out the app. I clicked back on it, it said sold out. I'm like, oh my gosh. Okay, so that's when I went on Goat and Stock to see how much they were going. And I wasn't about to pay $240, $230 for a shoe on release date that just dropped like about eight minutes ago. Now, I wasn't about to go pay that much over retail for a shoe I know I could probably get for a, a to probably get for retail if I go to the Mall of America, if I go traveling a little, but I didn't feel like going traveling a little. So after it sold out, I went to FootLocker.com. Of course, FootLocker.com had the shoes in my size, size nine and a half, which is selling out up in Foot Locker apparently before they opened the doors. Um, they had my size, so I just ordered them off of Foot Locker. This is a rant because I don't understand what that Foot Locker has against me. So I don't, like, they need to stop with that because it's really weird. All right, bye.